when you are setting stones, particularly in bezels, it's kind of important that you have the right tools and that your tools have the right finish. Hi, I'm Melissa Muir. In this video today, I'm going to show you how I uh, purchase and alter different setting tools. Now there is this little set that I just picked up. It's very inexpensive. I picked this up over at Micro Tools and it has the bezel rocker, a bezel pusher, and a prong pusher. Now the prong pusher is usually what I use for doing my, my bezel pushing itself because it has a nice flat surface. So we just open this up and inside we have our three items. So I'm only going to be polishing just the two items, which is going to be my prong pusher, which I use again as my bezel pusher, and the bezel rocker. I'm not going to worry so much about the actual bezel pusher. This one has a little groove in it, and it's just not one that I use very often for that. So. I can alter that a little bit later. But let's talk really quickly about these other two tools. So here I'm going to pull out this prong pusher. So when I look at this, they have here a very squared face. My, my edges here are kind of rough, the corners, and this one's not horrible. Like my edges, I've definitely had worse where it's very, very sharp and rough. This one has a few little burrs on there, but I also noticed that this is not completely flat. When you buy tools like this, they are meant for you to alter them to whatever it is that you need. So that's something to keep in mind when you buy these, very rarely do do they come out of the package ready to go. So I'm going to pull this here onto my bench pin. You can see that that surface is just not fantastic here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on truing up this face a little bit. Now I have kind of a general purpose hand file. This is kind of coarse. It's probably a zero cut. Um, so it is pretty coarse. That's good for metal removal. I also want to use a file that I'm not going to be using on other precious metals. So I'm going to just bring this in and just kind of run it across the face of this and I'm going to rotate this as I go so that I can ensure that I'm hitting this a little bit better. All right and I'm starting to hear and feel that that is getting to have a little better surface and you can kind of see that I've brought those edges down a little bit. Okay, that middle section is still not being touched yet and that just tells me that my edges were all pretty tall. So I'm gonna continue to do this for a little bit. And then I'm going to start to bring in these corners as well. So again, as I go, I'm just kind of rotating this around. And you can tell when you've removed a burr because things are gonna flow a lot easier. You wanna make certain that you remove all of your marks from the ends or that that surface up here because whatever you have here on the surface is going to embed itself into your bezel when you go to set that. Use your fingers to feel this because your fingers will tell you if there's any rough spots or anything that's sharp and still needs to be removed. Like right here I can feel that there's just a little bit of a burr. From here, I'm going to work into a sandpaper. And again, I'm just going to do that same process. And I want to make sure that I remove any kind of marks that were left over from the previous step. Once I've removed all of the marks that are here on that face in the previous step, I'm then going to switch in this case to a 30 micron polishing cloth and I'm going to rotate, so before I went this direction, so now I'm going to rotate my tool and I'm going to go across that so again I can ensure that I have removed all of those previous uh, steps or marks. And I am very happy with this. 
Now I'm not going to take this to a super fine high polish and why not? Because if I do, it's just going to slip along my bezel and that's not necessarily what I want to have. So I want it to have a little bit of a tooth, but not much. So at this point, this one is looking really good. Now I'm gonna do the same thing here for this rocker. You can kind of see here on the surface, it's not completely even, okay? There's a little bit of a casting line that's there still. So again, I'm just going to take my file and I'm gonna work my way across this way. I'm also going to work across this way. So I want to remove any kind of a sharp edge or a corner that I might have. So. Once I'm happy with that, again, I'm going to move to a sanding stick. And once again, I'm going to finish this up with a polishing paper. And now we're ready to go. Now the final tool that I use is a burnisher. Now these can be either curved or straight, but a lot of times when they come, this point is extremely sharp and not necessarily really conducive to what we're trying to do with our stone setting. So what I like to do is just ever so gently take off that total, that like sharp, sharp point. So I just barely kind of work my way along and I will rotate the tool around as I do this just to kind of take off that sharp point. Now I like that it comes to a very narrow point so I don't want to take off too much and I also don't want to really ruin or damage the surface of the rest of the burnisher because this one I do want to have a nice high polish. Okay, that feels much, much better because we just don't want it to be snagging on our metal. We also don't want it to snag into anything that might be in our stone because sometimes my stones have a little bit of rough where they're open and it can snag onto that. Okay, so once we have that, again, I'm going to take my sanding stick and notice that I'm only working right here at the very tip. I'm trying not to work down any further than I need to. Okay, then next step, again, I'm going to come into my polishing paper. And this one, I may give the whole surface a nice go over with the polishing paper. Just make sure that we have a good surface that is ready for a high polish. You wanna concentrate especially on those areas that you know you're going to be uh, kind of marking or rubbing up against your metal. Now for a final step on this burnisher, I am going to take this to a high polish. I'm going to do this with my micro motor. So that means I need to take a couple of different safety precautions. Number one, my hair needs to come back because I have quite long hair. I'm also going to be wearing a mask as well as my safety glasses. Now in this case, I use platinum white that I get from Fordham. So pretty easy to get a hold of. At this point, everything looks really, really good. I would just go clean up any of the polishing compound that is left on this and we're ready to go. Now, like I said, when it comes to the pusher and the rocker, I don't necessarily want a super high finish on those. I want to have just a little bit of tooth so that it's not just sliding off of my bezel as I set that. However, on the burnisher, I do want a high polish so that it can just glide along. And again, anything that is on your tools as far as any marks or scratches or dents or dings, that is going to transfer to your bezel, something you definitely want to avoid. So 
check that out. Hopefully that helps. If you guys have any more questions on my process for this, just drop me a line down below in the comments. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure you subscribe and ring that bell so that you get those notifications. We'll see you guys next time.